Coffee and News is a part of the Amateur Radio Network. I am so happy to be back on air, and I'm going to broadcast about what I witnessed, um, a man sexually abusing another man, and I, I have to tell you, I just overheard some stories, and I've witnessed it myself, so, but there's a, another topic I want to bring up. Also, the firing of Ed Henry on sexual harassment. And I want to tell you, I do not believe Ed Henry did whatever it is he's being accused of. I have witnessed abuse before, and I, I've had triggers, uh, especially the bathroom episode tonight. And some of the other abusive things that go on, I know the medical problems that some of us face and why we're at home. And a lot of times uh, our limitations because of our disabilities may be lacking us, lacking in areas where we can work full time. Okay. So I created the Amateur Radio Network for veterans and people like myself who are veterans to be able to work again. And um, the Amateur Radio Network gives you a chance to get back to radio, working on a schedule eventually, and getting back to school. And there's a lot of fraud going on in a lot of areas. And what's going on in the news is that it's the same thing, fraud and corruption. And it seems like we're all trying to escape it, but the fact is, is that it leads us to the next story about the toppling of our statues uh, in Columbus, Ohio. The Christopher Columbus statue was taken down. I'm pretty sure as more news is um, brought, brought up about the statues, it also brings up the question, like, why? Why are these statues coming down voluntarily? Is it to appease the BLM? And they are not a peaceful protesters. And uh, some good news uh, to report is the nation of Chaz has been taken over and the police are back in their barracks. So these are some of the stories that we just recently heard over the last 48 hours and news stories that I think are matter to you. Let me take you to the story about the sexual abuse. Um... There's a difference between being a witness and a survivor, and both. Um, and what I witnessed was sexual abuse. I, I witnessed it. Um, luckily, we got it reported, and it was handled by the judges, and we've gone to court over it. Um, court was very helpful, by the way. And anytime there's an assault, you have to prove it in court. And I hope Ed Henry's story, because it could change him as a reporter. It could change a person when you're accused of something like that. And these things have to be proven in court. And my heart goes out to anybody who's been falsely accused. And right now we don't know the full story. But Ed Henry had been fired from Fox News over it. And... A lot of times, um, abuse has to be, again, proven in court before somebody gets fired. So we look at a couple cases going on, it's a constructive discharge, and listening to some of the other reports about what they're doing on the polls and how they're portraying Trump as an idiot. I mean, they pretty much portray all Trump voters and uh, as idiots, motley, cruel, um, some of the comments that he makes I just recommend listen to light jazz listen to light music and stay away from a lot of the stuff that is really bad for you and bad for your health uh, and that's what it comes down to relationships that are bad for your health um, there might be an ex or somebody that you had dated it's bad for your health to go backward, you know. 
especially watching and witnessing the abuse we just witnessed and some of the things that we just witnessed over the uh, course of the last couple years. It's never good to go back with the ex. Not after abuse. In fact, he belongs in jail for continuing the cycle of abuse. So, uh, I just want to say this. Um, when there's real abuse and it's proven in court, and we go through a lot to go to court. Uh, when somebody abuses somebody, somebody abuses somebody. And it's very good to have it investigated properly. Um, when I think of an investigative reporter, I think of Ed Henry. And I heard the news today and I was just very upset. Because I've talked to Fox News reporters and they're not the nicest people. And I don't know what goes on in Fox, and I, I don't know what's going on with the media, but it is a horrible, horrible environment to be in. That I, we do independent stuff because we could talk about stuff because we're just people. We're people trying to make something of our lives, you know. We're trying to work, we're trying to, you know, hold a job down. But people are people. And that's what makes this coffee and news break uh, worth it. Because we're not out there competing in the Fox News arena. We're not out there competing with the, the big people with the big letters behind their names. We're not out there competing to get a job, get, to get their job. We're just doing our own thing. And doing our own thing means we can be original and creative. Thank you guys for listening to our broadcast. We're going to wrap it up here from now. Uh, thanks. And much more up next.